Okay, you guys. So here I got my cash today. Sorry, this video is going to be a little shaky. I uh, just dug it up for you. It's going to be part two. So first off, what's in here? It's uh, a little thing of BioFire. I've done a couple of videos on BioFire, I think. So please help explain it to me. We got a lot more right there. I just got a bunch. I made like a couple hundred, so BioFire. And then. Because <laughs> it all just came out. So, first off, here, I've got 20 rounds of box of MFS steel case Nagant ammo. This is 760 by 54 um, So, that's that. I got some kind of tools in here. This is kind of a come back to the house kind of setup. This isn't exactly a run and go kind of thing. It very well could be. And I'm going to show you a tip or trick. A tip and trick about um, having a fast removal um, cache. So, I have 20 rounds. And he, these are some Allen keys. I found that Allen keys are one of the most useful tools in the world. Um, so, I got four Allen keys. One small, large, to medium. I figured they could come in handy. Um, I might want to use the space for something more important though. So there's that. It's always nice to have tools though. This is from a hot glue gun. I've already used it a little bit. Um, I can cut little strips off of this, put it on something, and then take a lighter out and melt it on there. Or matches. Um, or just melt it off of this and then rub it on there. But also very useful. Two boxes of matches. They're all they're both full. I think this is like ten feet of paracord. Paracord always comes in handy. And then this is a knife that I had a long, long time ago. I just took this off. I guess you could use this for any type of trading. I mean it still works decently well. The reason I took this off, the the handle broke, but also arrowhead this this bump right here you could use for latching um, you could file down a little nick right here or use the hole and you could latch it on make a nice arrowhead be uh, work pretty well um, and then my bifar as you guys have saw. so that's what I had in my cache or cache or whatever you guys want to call it um, so, uh, there you go.